Hello, welcome to this video about Nike's free running shoes. This video will find out what the Nike free running shoes are all about, so strap in and let's go. The Nike free running shoes are used, by Nike's cream of the crop athletes, for warming up and low mileage runs. Experts recommend using Nike free running shoes, if you're an everyday low mileage runner. But the downside to using this type of shoe for everyday running is that it will wear out fast, because it is designed for speed and light use, so bear that in mind when using these shoes. The Nike free running shoes are not your average run-of-the-mill running shoes. Instead, these Nike shoes have been engineered to give you a running experience as close to a barefoot run as possible. The reason for this is that running barefoot is meant to strengthen the muscles in your feet, which should lead to better foot health. In addition, the minimalist design makes you feel like you have nothing on your feet but, at the same time, keeps your feet somewhat protected from sticks and pebbles if you are running outside. The Nike Free Running Shoes, called Nike Free 5.0 V1, were released in men's and women's running shoes in 2004. Unfortunately, this shoe wasn't met with great praise, and it used a traditional lacing design which took away from the desired feeling of being barefoot. Some specialized running shops would not sell them on the grounds that the shoes are not safe to use, and customers were coming back to the stores with complaints that the shoes caused them injuries. This question is very subjective and comes down to what the person wants or needs in running shoes. Nike Freeze are not your average pair of running shoes that you can put on and start running without regard for the consequences. These shoes will force your feet and leg muscles to really put in the work. So if you are a first-time runner or need support, then using minimalist barefoot running shoes and this style of running maybe isn't for you. Nike has even said that these shoes are not for everyone. So while creating the Nike free running shoes, the Nike designers come up with the numbering system. Zero is barefoot, and 10 is regular running shoes. The number indicates how much cushion you want. Nike recommends that when you get your pair of Nike free running shoes, you start slow. Only use them for 20 to 30 minutes in the beginning so that your feet can adjust to how they have been designed. The Nike designers in 2001 saw athletes exercising on the grassy infield barefoot, which the Nike designers thought was a little odd, so they asked them. The athletes said that their coach thought it promoted good foot health. This made the designer interested to see if it was true. So they studied the science of how the foot hit the ground for a year and then used all the data they collected and made a super minimal booty-like prototype. After creating the booty prototype, the Nike designers were not thinking about making it a commercial product. Instead, using the latest science technology, the first retail Nike free running shoes started in 2004 and were called the Nike Free 5.0 V1. Over the years, Nike has created the Nike Free line, which is one of Nike's most loved lines. They build it from the ground up and have put a lot of work into making it what it is today. When you get your Nike free running shoes, you have to start slow. Use them for 20 to 30 minutes for jogging and low mileage runs. Nike recommends using a training program they have made to help your feet adjust to them. That means a learning curve is involved, so bear that in mind. They say don't exceed 3 to 6 miles, otherwise, you could injure your feet. The Nike Free Collection is not for everyone. It has been designed with one purpose in mind to serve the barefoot running style. Since the first Nike Free shoes, they have been making improvements, but until you put them on, you are not going to know. The shoes are pointed and have a small toe box and do not have a lot of depth, so this can lead to them not fitting everyone well. If you are a person with balance problems like vertigo, it may be best to avoid these shoes and get a different type of running shoe. Thanks for watching this video from Love of the Tick. If you want more content, like this, check out our other videos or check out our site full of quality information that answers your questions on shoe care, Nike products, lifestyle, sports, and health and fitness. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay notified every time we post a new video. Hope you have a great day.